Melissa. Welcome back to Messy Missy Creates. I'm going to show you a new trick. How much of a mess this makes and if this is a thumbs up or thumbs down. And you can tell me what you think. I know that I have heard a lot of people in the YouTube world, journaling world, whatever, um, talking about how, you know, what's going to happen when all the daubers run out. You know what I'm talking about. Um, the ones that they're not making anymore. And I had an idea, and I've had this idea for a while, and I finally just put it into action. Um, I had picked up this bag of kind of daubers. Um, I picked them up at a thrift store a long, uh, actually a while ago. It says moistener bottle, so I'm gonna assume it has just like a spongy tip doesn't screw on just actually this one looks kind of dirty but anyway um i'm gonna assume that they might be sold in office products like as an envelope moistener remember back in the day used to use those oh don't lick them you know use a moistener so <clears throat> um we'll see how well that works and we'll see how well it holds up but i have tried a little bit then let me show you, before I can show you that, I have to show you this other thing that I tried once upon a time. Now, this has been probably, oh, I would say a year ago, maybe. Um, I was attempting uh, to make my own, maybe alcohol inks, um, spray inks, that sort of thing for art journaling. This was, well, it might have even been longer than a year ago, but anyway, that doesn't matter. I had um, seen this, I don't remember where, but um, it was either YouTube, pen, pen, well, um, I've been staying off Pinterest. Um, anyway, where you use the old, um, you can see them in here, and that one actually is kind of separating, but um, those little sticks in there were, I busted apart some old, um, like Crayola markers and you know I had a whole bag of them from whenever and the ones that were like you know maybe the tips had gotten messed up not completely dried up but ones I had duplicates of anyway I disassembled the marker and I pulled out the inside um, felt um, stick like that that had all the ink in it dropped them down in these spray bottles that I bought I don't remember where, but anyway, um, and then put alcohol in them. Now, I couldn't remember, and then I just got them back out. Anyway, they've been sitting. I didn't end up using them much um, for a couple different reasons, but none of that is important. Um, but anyway, I had to smell them. Up. It is alcohol, definitely. Um, and they sat, and I think at first I hadn't let them sit long enough, maybe, and then I tried them, and, you know... But then I moved on to something else. So, it's not that it was a fail. It just, I just didn't use them much. Um, and, let's see. So, I had these. I knew they were still sitting out in my little craft room. And, I, I had come across these. The little envelope wetting, uh, envelope moistener um, uh, daubers. Anyway, and so the bright shiny light came on and I said, aha, let me see if I can make these into some sort of ink daubers. So I took what was in here that I had made a while back and I poured just a little bit and you'll see this one's the purple and the blue. And yes, I'm being careful with them because they are messy, messy, messy. Remember the name of this channel is Messy Messy Creates. Um... These are not ideal um, for the long haul, and I can already see that. Well, for one, there's no cap. And they have a couple little holes in the, let me get one out again and show you. For one, I don't see this being something that if it got, if it got tipped over in your craft cart or whatever, it, I'm sure it would leak. I'm sure enough that I'm not gonna test it. So, because they don't screw on, it just snaps in. 
And then also this is just an open sponge. So anything that it touches, it's obviously gonna pull the fluid through. And it has this little hole. I don't know if you can see it or not. Um, the other ones, actually some of them have two holes. So in order to get them started, get the ink started through the, the sponge, I had to kind of turn them over and squeeze them a little bit, but then I got more than I bargained for. So definitely, if you're going to do something like that, try it on just, you know, a big scratch sheet of paper or something that you're not gonna care about. Cause it did, it, you know, there's, there's going to be a learning curve into how to control the ink that flows out. Now, I did not do one for every color because the other thing that I did, uh-oh, yeah, this one. Um, this is a yellow. Um, that one's pink. Um, I did have yellow. I think this was yellow originally, but see how that separated? Um, one that I had, the other way that I wanted to try this was with food coloring. Now, you know when you go to use food coloring, like to dye eggs and things, it tells you to mix it with vinegar and all that. I didn't do all that, um, clearly, and, well, not clearly, but I didn't. Um, I just put about five drops of the yellow in here, and I put just a little splash of water in it, because I, I can always add more, um, but I was debating. I really didn't want to use vinegar, but I might go back and try it with alcohol. Um, one, I'm thinking that the alcohol would dry faster. It will absorb. Um, once you put it down on the paper, the wetness of it, it won't be like a water mess on your paper. It'll be an alcohol, so it would, it would dry up faster. But anyway, I just, I did one like this because I wanted to try it. So we're going to play with these a little bit. And this is, it's either going to work or it's going to be a really short video that fails. So, um, my backup plan is I'm going to use some of these, um, a little bit of acrylic paints. And then, you know, I've got plenty of other ways of putting ink on the paper, but I don't own, I only own one of those daubers and I did that you know, I've had it for a long time. It's just that, uh, the stain, the tea dyed stain. So it's a brown. And, um, anyway, they do, after watching you all use them or other people use them, it does look like a much easier, uh, more convenient just to do, you know, kind of on the fly, you know? So, all right, here it goes. I am going to put this down because just on the off chance that a lot of fluid runs out, that's fairly thick paper, but you know, paper can only hold so much. Um, let's see, here's a green. I haven't primed it yet. There's that yellow. Let me start with, let's see, the seventh was yesterday, right? Let's see, yeah, today is the eighth. It's the morning of the eighth. And, um, yes. I will start with this. I'm going to use a little bit of green. Now, see when I first push down on it like this? There's, oh, see it's starting to come out. So I haven't even had to squeeze the bottle. So good, I, that's what I was hoping. Um, and then, you know, you just use it like you would the other daubers. Um, so that that works pretty well. I am glad that I used the um, the deli paper just to catch, um, this sponge is probably going to put off more liquid than the sponge, than the, the applicator that comes on those daubers is what I'm trying to get at. Um, I'm going to use a little bit of the blue. Um, the test pieces of paper that I've used have actually kind of turned out sort of cute. And yes, I, I'm just kind of, I have no rhyme or reason. Um, let's see, this is pink and I haven't primed it yet either. Um, and if any of you are interested, I, yeah, see, this is really pretty. This was, like I said, this came from a Crayola marker. Um, and it, it's actually going on quite smooth. Look at that. Um, and if any of you want me to do a video on how I made those, I can. 
I would link the video or the the source in which I found them, but I can't remember, and it's been quite a while back. Um, I'll put that one up. All right, now here's the yellow. This is the one that is the food coloring, not the Crayola marker. Um, and it, it's going on, but remember, this has water in it, not alcohol. So see, it it's staying pretty puddled, and look what it does to the... I don't know if you can see the difference in, oh, I don't know how much light you have. Let's see, let me scoot this light in. Can you see how that paper just looks wet? It When paper gets wet, it gets that kind of matted, um, it's not quite matted, but it's kind of that maybe a mottled look or something. Definitely not as smooth as the others. So I, I'm gonna definitely try the, um, I'm going to definitely try the food coloring with the alcohol too. I really, I may try it with the vinegar as well. Vinegar stinks, you know that, um, but it doesn't when it dries. But I do know that alcohol and vinegar both, um, both dissipate quickly. So it's just going to leave the ink and not not see this paper hardly feels wet this feels very soggy so um and now both of them went through and you know that that just is what paper you use it on um this is that um pagan um it's the when i made this journal i showed you what kind of paper it was remember when i made this july journal it's that um special kind of construction paper and it's really cheap by the way um okay so this, to me, I like it. I think it deserves a thumbs up. Um, oh, wait, I have purple, but wait, I have purple. And yeah, put purple on green, that's a good idea, right? Well, guess what? I'm, I'm a gonna, just a little bit. Um, maybe not everywhere, but just a little. And it's dry, so it's not gonna mix. It's just gonna lay on top, sort of. Um, maybe where they overlap, it might get a little bit, um, muddy. And I think I can come back in. I don't really want to use more of that yellow. I, I'm going to go back and make, I'm going to try this yellow out, even though it looks, if you can see how separated it looks. I'm going to go back and try that one. But I really like how this pink turned out, and... Even if you're not a huge pink fan, I mean, come on, that laid so smoothly. <laughs> um, I'm very um, hopeful with how this laid down. Um, let's see. I think I'm also going to, I want it to kind of see if that would, you know, make a purple. Um, now, you can obviously mix. That's why... I, you can mix the little marker sticks in your bottles. I didn't, um, and I could pour some of these together and make a purple, um, or I already have actually, but the food coloring, I wanted, I, I want that to work. Okay, you can see how this purple and this yellow, because this is still very wet, um, that definitely made that, you know, classic muddy color that, just cause I swabbed that little bit of purple right there. Um, yeah, I'm, I want the food coloring to work. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to experiment with the food coloring and the, um, alcohol and vinegar. I didn't have, I thought I had a brand new thing of food coloring and unless I put them somewhere in my craft stash, the ones I just pulled out of my baking cabinet, um, the red was gone and dried up, so I only had a couple of colors, so I am, um, but I, I still will experiment with that because I definitely want that to work, and I am, I think I'm going to just finish this off with the green, and we'll call it good, and I may go ahead and post this video just as it is, um, just for anybody who wants to see this trick, you know, it's not a trick. Um, 
Freddie wants to see, you know, this part, and it won't be in an hour-long, you know, journal with me video. Um, and then, hopefully here soon, I will test out the others and see what we think. And, um, okay, I'm gonna stop there, and I'll post this video as a standalone video. And um, let me know what you think of this. Um, that definitely is very dark looking. It's not, I'm hoping that it's pulling up. Let's see. Mm, I'm trying to get a little bit more light so that it, I don't know if it's showing up darker than it really is. Um, Cause in person they're very bright. And this just looks like you know, a bag of Skittles erupted. But, um, that was, uh, definitely gives you a, a compiled look when you layer them. So, anyway, but I think that is, it is a definite possibility. Um, and obviously I'm going to try to find some better, um, better bottles, better, uh, daubers. And then we can all make our own, okay? All right, let me know what you think. Please drop a, a comment, um, you know, a thumbs up. Um, let me know what you think of it in the comments. Um, and don't go on artistic value because I was just blobbing. But um, this is just a muddled mess. But um, let me know what you think. All right, thanks, guys. Bye. I thought I would pop back on and give you a little quick update. Um, this all dried very nicely. Um, even the yellow that was the water, uh, you know, mixed with the water. Um, I don't really think once they dried, you could tell. Um, you know, it's hard to know. Well, pretty much everything went through, but I did them pretty heavily too, so. Um, but what I did do is I went ahead and I mixed, um, if you can't, I'll give you three guesses what I mixed. Um, let's see. Okay, so I did have, I managed to get, <laughs> you know those little food coloring little bottles in the teeny tiny holes? And I could see some dried red food coloring in there and I was really wanting red, but, um, so I tried to suck up some alcohol into that bottle and, well, it worked enough. It got all over my fingers and I got a little bit in here, but I had already put too much alcohol in it. So if you're doing this, make sure only start with like a little bit of alcohol or start with your coloring. Um, anyway, that was just one, one word to the wise. So it was very diluted. It worked. Um, it was very diluted. Most of it got on my hands and on my counter. Um, but it ended up looking like the pink because there was already so much alcohol in the bottle so um but it still was enough just to test it out so i didn't have an orange so bada bing bada boom i have an orange i um went ahead and just mixed up some mixed in some yellow food coloring with it so uh that one looks like it's going to work great so that is the food coloring with the alcohol Remember this yellow was the food coloring with the water, and then these were the um, the colors that I mixed a long time ago uh, with the alcohol and the little marker, the innards of the marker. Now, then I have another, I'm like, well, why stop there? Except I did run out of daubers. I have one left, so I have to use them wisely. Um, okay, this is how far back I go with, with Tim Holtz doesn't seem like that long ago to me, but these are the Adirond Adirondack inks. Um, probably the first alcohol inks. This was before I even knew the difference between an alcohol ink and a whatever else. Um, I used them because I was making, uh, I did a little bit of steampunk jewelry and metal, um, maybe metal and not so steampunk, um, and was using this to color polymer clay and resin and anyway that's that's one of my my past lives um but i still had a lot of the inks plus you know these are the new ones actually it figures 
Um, I actually picked these up at a thrift store or it was actually an antique shop, um, believe it or not. And, uh, well, I have these same three colors. One of them, oh, it's still over there on the counter. But these are the same ones. And I think this is the current, what the current bottle looks like. But that's what they used to say. Um, but this, these are the same, same exact colors. So I went ahead, the ones that were already open. And they're still fine. And they have to be, I would say at least, hmm, what is this, 2021? I... Uh, 10 years so they're hanging in there um anyway so i digress all right this little bit is this uh alcohol ink which is stream it's a um a blue green um yeah i think you can tell what color that is and i had to wash off this i had to take it off and wash it because my little test paper I guess I had run over the red, maybe, or maybe it might have gotten on there from my finger. Somehow or another, there ended up with the red on here. Made it pretty purple, but that was not what I was after. Yeah, so I dried off the, the sponge. Um, looks very much like that blue. I already went back and added some ink to it, but anyway, I just... Um, Oh, oops, there was some orange that spilled, or no. Wow, that picked up. You know what? Okay, if you know why I'm not going to get off on this soapbox or this train of thought or rabbit hole, um, but why you can't use, like, alcohol markers with certain inks, like to stamp, stamping inks, because alcohol moves alcohol. This was my border on a pe on a where I ran my alcohol marker down and bordered one of my journal pages. So you see that right there. So alcohol moves alcohol, water moves water. Um, so anyway, okay, that that's another video, um, and that's not I don't think for me I. I learn that from somebody else anyway but um these work pretty well um now i can go in and i will probably darken that up i might even have to add a green to it because i really was wanting see there's meadow um i was really wanting it to be more more of a turquoise uh probably could add a splash of yellow in it anyway you can mix and match however you see fit but I just thought I would bring you back and tell you, or show you, um, if you look ever so slightly, and, and it's actually very pretty, um, you can, I can anyway, I can pick up like yellower spots. That's where I mix the, the dried, um, the red food coloring and the yellow food coloring. So that might be why, or it might totally go away once it's totally dry. But anyway, I just thought I would, I'm going to add this to the tail end of that video just to give you, you know, a follow up on that. I know that the food coloring does work with the alcohol. Now, I will have to do it with another one just to see if it does separate the colors like that. But that is really pretty. It's a, um, turning into a, really pretty light coral um and then the alcohol inks and alcohol in a dauber food coloring and alcohol in a dauber food coloring and water in a dauber and then you know the rest from there so all right well give me um give me a shout out give me a give me some feedback tell me what you think i know i already said all of this but um let me know if you try it if you try it tag me um I'm on Instagram as well, uh, messy missy underscore creates. And let me know what you think. If you add something to it, if you think of something different that we all might can benefit from, um, tag us, drop a line in the comments here. Um, you know, everybody in this community helps each other out and 
very excited to share um, new finds and new ways of doing things. And I just um, wanted to add to that if I can. For all I know, this might already be done. Somebody might already have a video on this. I have no idea. I have not seen it. I just know um, that, you know, it just popped up into my my wee little brain um, and I wanted to try it. So it's an option. Again, I'm gonna, I prefer some different uh, dauber tops. Although I will tell you this because it is made with alcohol, these dry. They've been sitting up, no they don't. Okay, scratch that thought. They felt a little dry to the touch, but obviously I just got green on my fingers, so. All right, well, I'm going to close, and um, I can't wait to hear from you. I can't wait to see if you try it, um, how it works, what you think. And all righty, I will talk to you soon. Bye.